The final part of this series is going to be showing you how to insert images. Now, this isn't going to be your typical um, just going to insert image uh, that you have on your computer rather than using the Unsplash um, add-on. The other thing I want to show first is the option to insert image directly from the insert here, where you go to insert image and then search the web. Oftentimes, I'll tell people to use this because you'll notice here that it only selects images that you have the license to use. Again, practicing good digital citizenship um, is very important, especially when you're making presentations for outside of your classroom. Um, you want to make sure that you're following all the copyright laws. So you can search right here and then click on insert. Um, if I do that, you can see I have some oh, I have some guitars behind me. So um, I'm going to type in bars. And here, I can easily just click on that, select insert, and it's going to go right into that slide. The problem with many of these is these photos sometimes can be very small. You stretch them out. Uh, they don't look great. So what I like to use is an app or an add-on website, um, but they made an add-on too called Unsplash. To get that add-on, you just go into add-ons here and get add-ons. When this pops up, I'm going to search for Unsplash. Unsplash images. I'm going to select this and click on install. It's going to take me into my Google account so I can verify it. Okay, and now it's adding it as an add-on to my Google slide. So the beauty of this is, yes, I've used the website many times and going back from one tab to the next. Um, it's fine, but this makes it a lot easier. So now I have Unsplash images, and I just go to Insert Unsplash. Um, this is great. If I want to search any kind of uh, topic here, let's say I type in mountain. Actually, let's go to um, underwater. All right, so now I have all these great HD pictures available for me. I like this one. Okay, so I'm going to select this picture. By just clicking on it, it's automatically going to bring it in to my Google slide. Um, the beauty of this then is this is extremely high quality. And even when I go into present mode, this is you're not gonna see any pixels. But also, I have the ability to then put borders on it. I like to have no border on this. Okay, so it's kind of acting as my background. If I click on the image and go to Format Images, I have the same options. One thing I really like to do is change the transparency on this. Okay, and just adjusting it to about 75, between 75 and 80. Then if I go into Background, I can change the background, let's say, to a darker one. And now I have something that I can actually put text over. If I say, oh, well, that's not quite dark enough. I just want to be able to see that in the background. And now when I go over to put text in, it's there. So now I can go ahead and change the formatting on this where you'll actually be able to read this, where it's not, you know, you're not just writing over a picture you make it clear so that you can actually read um, the text that is, is over there. So again, if I don't do that, sometimes in my um, when I'm actually reading this, it may be actually difficult. Now, in this case, it's not too bad, but it makes it a little bit easier to read the text. So again, just by using the Unsplash, now if I go into present mode, you'll see that it's still really clear here. So this is really great for um, those high, really high quality images. And it's very simple for students and teachers to use because it's just clicking a button and bringing it over. So that is Unsplash Image uh, add-on for Google Slides.